This realm is true. This opportunity is quite hard to come by. Well then, amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. I promise I'll be gentle. <laughs> Cowering already? Something else catch your eye? Hey! Right, 
turn. Pyrotechnics! Stand clear. Swirl, mark two. Covenant of the deep. Yeah, a brash maneuver. Astra.
Shut up! Get the animal hyperstasis and allow me to strike first! Show me what you've got! Allow me! I must withdraw! That's okay! Stand clear! Watch your step! Feel the beat! Show me what you've got! Animal test 63. Hold the line! Show me what you've got! Thank you. 
I almost fell asleep waiting. <laughs> As usual, my predictions are correct. You, yes you, come with me. Are you some sort of door-to-door -door fortune teller? Sorry, but we're not really interested. You're not from this world, are you? <gasps> How do you know about that? How? Because I'm a master of true astrology. If you've no other questions, let's be off. <sighs> Fine. I'll exercise a little patience and explain. I am astrologist Mona Magistus. But considering that it is most rude to misremember names, I allow others to call me Mona. I am on a mission from my master to retrieve a certain box from Mondstadt. It was part of an agreement she made with a friend 50 years ago. But she isn't as spry as she used to be, so now it's up to me. Not sure what getting some box back has to do with us. Why do you need us to come along? Well, that's because I would also like to take on the Guardian of the Box. My master and her friend contended in the Mystic Arts all their lives without a clear victor. If I triumph here, then I will show myself to be superior to my master. <clears throat> well, I want to prove the power and status of astrology, to be precise. Now, from my predictions, I know that my master's friend has left Mondstadt leaving her successor as the current guardian of that box. Like me, that successor must also be one who has surpassed their teacher. I must not be careless. But I would prefer to assure my victory in this contest, and upon giving it some thought, you came to mind. The knowledge passed down to me from my master must be passed on in turn. If I were to bring my disciple to meet her, then the lead is already mine, no? And you are Mondstadt's great hero, my equal in status. So, come on, you don't actually have to become my disciple. You just need to act the part. There's something in it for you as well, should you come with me to get that box. Once I meet that successor and have a chance to exchange knowledge with them, I should be able to read your fate more accurately. Then I will have answers for you, even regarding such distant and foggy matters as gods and kin. That does seem much faster than searching the land country by country. <laughs> A wise decision. That said, I would like to pay a certain place a visit before we go. 
There is a small inn near Mount Tianhong that never sees a lot of business, even though its food is always great value for the money. The owner has always been good to me, so I'd like to say a farewell before I set off.
went uh, out of tune. Here we are, the training grounds for Watatsumi Island's troops. Right now, the resistance is predominantly made up of local soldiers from Watatsumi Island. 
some of them are fighting with the Shogun's army in Tatarasuna, and some of them are stationed here on the island to keep the locals safe. Did you used to train here too? Yep. Unfortunately, I had to join the fight in Tatarasuna before I'd had the chance to impress the instructors, uh, so they had me start off by helping in the logistics division. I'll be staying here for now. If you need me for anything, just come here. If I'm not around, just write a note and stick it on the wall. As soon as I see it, I'll come find you. Shoot! It's nearly time for the appointment with Her Excellency. Uh, I'll have to show you around Watatsumi Island some other time. For now, let's get ourselves over to Sangonomiya. So, Sangonomiya is the name of the place where Sangonomiya Kokomi lives? Huh. Let's go check it out. Food supplies are the absolute top priority, period. We cannot afford any losses. With the conflict between us and the Shogun's army getting more intense by the day, we must prioritize the stability of the rear guard. Understood. I will think of a way. Take heart. We have a fresh batch of supplies in hand, and I'm working on expanding the army. I appreciate that the lack of manpower has been hard on all of you, but things are going to get better. We're expanding the army? Oh, that's great. Whoever this mystery supporter is, they're doing us a great service. Huh? Tepe, what are you doing back on Watatsumi Island? Might I ask who? <laughs> VIP guests of Her Excellency, that's who. I'm acting under orders to escort them both here. Oh, really? Wait, so are you the new recruit everyone's been talking about? Strength of 20 men, splits an arrow in twain from a hundred paces, skin as hard as diamond. That's you? Seriously? What is going on with these rumors? You've come a long way. I'm sure you must be here on pressing business, so I won't disturb you any further. Feel free to visit me if you have any time to spare. Your Excellency, I'll take my leave. Your Excellency... I couldn't help but overhear Okubo mention something about... a third-party supporter? What was that about? Not long ago, someone wrote to me saying that they wished to support the Watatsumi Island Resistance effort. To that end, they also furnished us with a great deal of supplies. Thanks to them, we can finally start recruiting troops on the scale we need to openly confront the Shogun's army on the front line. I am not without my doubts about the whole affair. But Watatsumi Island is hardly affluent, and these supplies are a much-needed lifeline for us. The sender's conditions were also reasonable. They simply ask us to dedicate ourselves fully to fighting against the Shogun's army. Whatever other motives they may have, we are at least aligned on this. So let's consider them an anonymous ally. Naturally, we shouldn't let our guard down. If you discover anything out of the ordinary, please report it to me at once. Your Excellency, does this mean that the food at the front line is going to get any better? I was at the field hospital the other day, and everyone was big. <laughs> Don't worry. I've already made arrangements for that. Everyone will have their fill of meat. But to be clear, still no alcohol. That's fantastic. I understand how hard it's been on everyone. The Resistance Army's rations have barely changed at all since the Vision Hunt Decree was first announced. I will discuss this with the Logistics Division to see what further improvements can be made. However, our supplies are still limited. I must ask you to remain patient until victory is ours. When will the Vision Hunt Decree finally end? That's the question. And I'm afraid I don't have an answer. The mere existence of the Vision Hunt Decree is baffling. The Tenryo Commission's attitude just doesn't seem to add up. And neither does the Shogun's. The Tenryo Commission's zealous support for the Decree seemed to come out of nowhere. 
and the Shogun seems completely indifferent to the fact that it has effectively caused a civil war. I suspect the Vision Hunt Decree won't end until these mysteries are solved. All I can say for certain is that as long as the Vision Hunt Decree remains in force, we will never give up our fight. Traveler, to confirm. Knowing the current situation facing Watatsumi Island and the Resistance, are you still willing to fight with us? Good. Then here is your assignment. I hereby appoint you as Captain of the Watatsumi Island Special Operations Unit, Swordfish 2. Whoa, whoa, what? Swordfish 2? Is this the same Swordfish Special Ops Unit that I'm thinking of? It's hard enough getting into a Special Ops Unit at the bottom rung, let alone jumping to Captain in one fell swoop. This is incredible. Although this appointment breaks with convention, I firmly believe that with your wisdom, courage, and strength, you can lead your team to victory. Great! So when do we take up our post? The members of Swordfish 2 are currently on standby in a valley to the southwest. Ronin have been causing trouble down there lately, and we need a special operations unit to eliminate them and stabilize the rear guard. I have already written your appointment letter, which you'll need to show them on arrival. Once that's out of the way, please lead them in ridding the area of Ronin. The special ops unit comprises Watatsumi Island's elite soldiers. They can be a little rough around the edges, but I have every confidence that you will win their trust. Um, what about me, Your Excellency? Any battles you need me to get involved in? I want to make a contribution to the Resistance, too. Of course. I'll arrange something and brief you shortly. All right! One successful operation coming right up! <laughs> you may have swiped the captain- Okay, sure! Well, be careful out there! Well, Traveler, let's move out! I'll admit, being promoted directly to captain is pretty amazing. But I'm not about to get left behind. I'll see you at the top someday soon. From now on, let's fight together. Allow me... Wow. <laughs>
If there's fire in your soul, you gotta rock and roll. So come on, let's get moving. Ah, you must be the new captain of Swordfish 2. Her Excellency briefed us in advance. Your reputation precedes you, and the appointment letter is all in order. But I still have my doubts. Hmm? About what? I'll be straight with you. I want to know whether you have what it takes to lead us. You mean, like, a duel? Normally, a duel would be the quickest way to settle the question, but this time, we've got a better way. We're stationed here because of all the Ronin causing trouble in these parts. If you can get rid of them for us, we'll take that as a measure of your strength. Seems like you can hold your own. The rumors are exaggerations, of course. But still, your abilities are admirable. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kotoku, acting captain of Swordfish 2. This is Yoshihisa, a fellow veteran of the team. I now formally cede the position of captain to you. Swordfish 2 awaits your orders. There are two hard-hit areas. This was one of them, but thanks to you, this area is now secure. Their only remaining stronghold is located at the shallows on the east side of the island. That said, the ones over there are tougher, and there's more of them. You got that right. What did Sumi is busy fighting the Shogun's army on the front line. We can't let these guys mess up things at the rear. That's not even all of them. They have two more camps nearby. Whichever camp we attack, it's the Ronin in the other two camps that'll cause us issues. They might decide to provide backup or abandon them and escape on their own. But Captain, that would put you in great danger. If we spread our troops too thin, we won't have enough men to guard you. It's too risky. Yep, the traveler eats amateurs like these for breakfast. All right then. 
We'll deal with them all in one go, and rendezvous with you on completion. Let's get down to business! Stand clear! Get power cord! There's more! You're toast! How's this? Animal test 6308! Captain, the other two camps have been cleared. The entire rear guard of Watatsumi Island. Great! <sighs> we solved the Ronin problem and got everyone to look up to us, too. Um, but what's next? Let's go back and check with Kokumi. Finally, we got it done. These Ronin have been bugging me for ages, but Kotoku wouldn't let us at them until now. What? No way could you have taken them down without the new captain here. I was putting the safety of the team first, got it? <laughs> oh, come on. You were just being a coward. Hey, cut the attitude! These guys, honestly. Forget them, let's go! 